Hey everybody, I'm doing a vape review today and it's sort of a follow-up to a previous one that I did. Uh, a while back I purchased the Wismec Active 80 vape mod with Bluetooth speaker. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Everything seemed very cool with it. It was supposed to be water resistant, shock resistant, dust resistant and all that. Uh, the problem I had with it is and it was the only problem so far. Um, it's supposed to be waterproof. Apparently it's not vape juice proof. And whenever your tank leaks, the juice some down, somehow leaks down inside of it and gets into the USB port. Uh, apparently it got all gunked up in there and now I can't charge the damn thing. Uh, I tried multiple USB charger cords and adapters and everything and it's just not making contact in there. I don't know if there's a way to clean that contact in there. If there is a way to clean the contact in there without disassembling the whole damn thing, uh, please drop me a comment and let me know. Other than that, it worked great. I mean, man, awesome little device for the price that I paid for it, which was I think twenty four ninety nine because I got it without the tank. And... Uh, the Bluetooth speaker was awesome. Very handy. I mean, this thing, <laughs> I used it a lot. And it's a shame now that it, I can't charge it. And if there is a way to clean it and get it working again without destroying it further, uh, please let me know. I really love this thing and I don't want to buy another one. So in the meantime, I still have my Smoke Mag P3. And this thing is indestructible practically wow <laughs> I love this thing too so at least I have a backup I'm not totally without a vape um, I've been getting some more juices um, I haven't really strayed away from my favorites uh, there's a couple that I really really like there's a vape shop up the street from me called the Tobacco King and they also sell vape products there. Um, they normally run some very good deals and bargains, you know, buy one, get one half price or buy one, get one free when they're trying to get rid of some of their older product and get some newer stuff in. And I think I did a review on this Vape Pink Chew. I don't know if you can see the label on there, but this is very good stuff. Um, it's got like a bubblegum flavor to it and I, I like it. It's really good. And, uh, some of the other flavors that, I, that I've that i reviewed in the past that I truly enjoy is the Cloud Nerd Strawberry Grape. Oh man, talk about good. Uh, the Strawberry Lemon by Cloud Nerds is also fantastic. And uh, uh, let's see, what else was there? The, the Peach Blue Raz and the Keep It 100 Blue Raspberry. Oh man, I've done some really good juices over the, over the past year and a half or so. And man, I tell you, the flavors just keep getting better and better. The mesh coils are getting better and better. Um, the the technology is getting better. Uh, this the the Wismec Active 80. They need to make some improvements. If they put a USB-C in here, if they're going to stick with the internal battery, a USB-C would would work a lot better. The uh, USB uh, micro mini plugs they uh, they tend to wear out over time. And that could be part of the problem too. I don't know if it's just the vape juice got in there and corroded something. But I mean, it still works as long as I got the little bit of charge left on this. So if I can figure out a way to charge it up again, it'll still work. Um, I'm kind of disappointed with that because I really like that unit. And if, or if they come out with one that has uh, an 18650 battery that you can put in there instead of an internal battery, that would make a big improvement. It would probably increase the size of it a little bit and the weight of it. Um, I wouldn't care about that as long as the performance was there. Other than that, I'm having a pretty good day. I bought a new car, sold my old one really quick, and uh, we had a 2006 Saturn Ion that was given to me by a friend a few years ago when my other car, you know, <laughs> stopped running. So uh, that we drove that for a few years and it served us well until it started having problems. Mechanically, it ran good. It just needed 
a whole bunch of other little things. Uh, there was a crack in the windshield. It would cost me $400 to replace the windshield, and I figured it would be just cheaper to get another car. Well, not cheaper, but better in the wrong run to just get another car. And uh, so we decided to go with a 2018 Hyundai Elantra, and we love it so far. It's probably one of the newest cars I've ever owned. But other than that, things are going okay for me. I'm still working at Lowe's. I'm having a good time selling ceiling fans and ceiling fan accessories. Yep. And uh, y'all have a good one. And pay attention to the efforts to ban the vape juice flavors. And keep that on the in the back of your mind there. And be wary of, of anything that our government is trying to pull in, in regards to that. And vape long and vape strong. And catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like and share this one. And also subscribe if you like. If, if you want to keep seeing more videos of mine. Uh, I know I don't do as many videos as I used to. Um, due to budget constraints. Um, I haven't been able to get anything new to, to review. So when I do get some stuff in. Believe me. Y'all are going to see the video on it. So y'all have a good one. Take care of yourselves.